Hello everyone, Fed here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you 5 redstone doors that you should know how to build inside of Minecraft. Now I'm sure if you're fairly new to Minecraft, the last thing on your mind is redstone, but don't sleep it under a rug guys, because it could really help some of your builds pop out a lot more. Now I see that with a lot of advanced players, and that's why I decided to make this video, is because I always see advanced players, they make these big, awesome builds, but then they don't add even in the tiniest bit of redstone, which could really help it pop a little bit more. Now I compiled up five doors right here that I think everyone should know how to build. Some of them ranging from a Jeb door over to just making a double iron door work. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen that inside of people's builds. Now the, only the end two right here are going to be pretty, I guess, a little difficult. The middle three should be fairly simple to build. Now I know the last one is a portcullis gate and not a door, but I felt like that would be cooler to have in this video than some sort of slime block door. And I know the first thing people tend to do when they play Minecraft is try to build a castle. And who doesn't want a working castle gate? So let's go ahead and we're going to start from the first one, work our way over to the fifth one. There'll be a timestamp underneath every single door so you can go ahead and move into that portion of the video so you don't have to watch the whole entire video. If you want to watch the whole entire video, that would be awesome as well. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Now, the first door up on the list is actually one of my favorite doors inside of Minecraft, and that is just a simple sand slash gravel door. Now, this now this thing looks fantastic inside of modern builds because when it opens up, guys, the door is so open and inviting. It looks great inside a modern build so when we come over here and we hit this pressure plate boop as you can see this door looks huge when this thing opens up it looks ginormous and it looks so inviting so bloop we come into our modern house build right here and that's why i absolutely love it because i love building modern builds so we're gonna go ahead and just walk on out hit our pressure plate and walk on out of our door next up on the list is just a simple double iron door i cannot tell you how many times i've seen it in let's plays or my friends worlds where it does this you go to walk up to it and only one side of the door opens up and if you're like me and you're a little ocd and you like both things working at the same time and everything being symmetrical that could get extremely annoying so it's very simple to set this thing up guys as you can see boop both doors open up hit this pressure light boop both doors open up super easy build but so many people neglect it and i think everyone should know how to at least do this door right here third on the list we have a very simple piston door now this door looks fantastic inside of let's say a convenience store maybe you're building a walmart or some sort of uh just any store that has some sort of sliding glass doors now you don't need to use glass here you can put stone brick here and add it to maybe a castle or something like that but i feel like it looks the best when it's for a convenience store or some sort of place that has sliding glass doors so boop the doors open up close and same boop it's so easy to build guys i can't believe not a lot of people use this thing because it's that easy to build this thing is crazy crazy easy to build next up on the list for number four is going to be the jeb door now this door should be one of the first secret doors you make if not the first secret door that you ever build inside of minecraft because it is that easy to build all we have to do is flip up this lever and boom we have a secret door that opens up we can go ahead and walk into this side flip the lever down on this side and it will close up now there are ways to hide up your levers and your buttons but we're not going to jump into that in this video this is just going to be the video to show how to build it this should be probably the first secret door that you ever build inside of minecraft and then last on the list for number five is going to be a very simple portcullis gate because any minecrafter when they first start playing the first thing they kind of think of building is a castle i know it's on everyone's mind when they first start playing minecraft is probably where am i going to build a castle inside of minecraft and then later on they'll be like oh i want to do modern builds i want to do steampunk builds i want to do all these crazy builds but usually the first thing on your mind is a castle so why not have a working gate for the front of your castle so if we come over here and click the the green button i should say boop our castle gate will open up and we can go ahead and walk right into our castle and of course if we click the red one it will close up behind us now if we're in the inside of our castle all you do is flip down this lever right here and that will actually lock our gate so as you can see when i'm clicking the green button to open up it will not open up however once i flip up this lever it will unlock it click the button again and then our gate opens up and we can go ahead and leave our castle so there is all five doors if you notice when the names are sweeping in underneath them there were time stamps so you can go ahead and go to whichever one that you want to build so you don't have to wait till you get to it if you want to watch all of them that'd be fantastic but we're going to be working from the left hand side all the way over to the right so let's go ahead and get started on these tutorials all right guys so first up on the list is going to be the sand slash gravel door now for this build you're going to need a six by five spacing and you're also going to have to dig down seven now that red stained clay block is the exact spot and where your door is going to be coming up and going back down now the resources you're going to need for this build are three sticky pistons two redstone repeaters one redstone torch 13 redstone two stone pressure plates three slime blocks and four immovable objects all right guys so once you have your six by five spacing and dug down your seven come to the bottom left hand corner and we're gonna count over five blocks one two three four five and then count up three one two three 
Now, right here is where our door is going to be going up and down. So we're going to place three sticky pistons going to the left-hand side. One, two, three. Take out your slime blocks and place all three of your slime blocks right across the top of your sticky pistons. Now, right above the slime block that is above where your door is going to be going, place in all five of your sand. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And it should be flush to your floor now. Next up, come to the bottom right-hand side of this sticky piston right here and place a block next to it with redstone on top of it. Then next to the redstone, we're going to place in another block like this. Come down a block next to your sticky piston once again and place a repeater going into the block. Set it to two ticks delay. Next up, take out your immovable objects. I'm going to be using obsidian and place two like this. One, two. Next, place redstone on top of the first obsidian block in the middle. And then place a repeater going into the redstone. Set it to two ticks delay. Next, come up a block behind your repeater like this. One, two. Place a piece of redstone on top of it. And then right next to this redstone, we're going to be placing another immovable object right here. And that's going to be your entire lift done. So if you want to test it out, you can go ahead and take out a lever. And then right off of this block right here, place in your lever. And then flip it down. And now it should completely close. As you can see, all the pistons went up. It should be completely closed. And then flip it back up. And it should go completely down. So now it's time to hook up our pressure plates. So one block away from our sand, we're going to be placing in the block right here. I'm going to be using slabs and a block right here, one block away from your sand door. Next up, place your pressure plates on top of both those blocks. And then under the one right here, we're going to place in a block and bring it all the way over to this redstone right here. Next, place your redstone torch off the side of it. It will activate your door. We can go ahead and remove that lever. It's no longer needed. And then place redstone going all the way down along these blocks. So now when we hit this pressure plate, our door will open up. And our door will close. Now all we have to do is bring power from this pressure plate over to that redstone right there. So what we're going to do is just wrap our blocks going around this side. One, two. Go this way. And then take our last immovable object. Place it right next to that slime block. And then bring our blocks just connecting right over here to this redstone. Like that. And then wrap your redstone going all the way around to the pressure plate on the opposite hand side. So now it should open up on this side as well. So boop. Opens up. And boop. It closed. Now this portion is completely up to you on how you build your door. However, I'm just going to make a quick modern door that I like to build. So what I like to do is just place a slab right here upside down. Place another slab right here upside down. Take out some glass panes and place in three glass panes. One, two, three. Do the same thing on this side. One, two, three. Now we're going to pick which side you want your front door to be on. Now I'm going to make mine over here. This is where my front door is going to be. So I'm going to come out with two more glass panes here. Two more glass panes here. And then I like to place in some dark oak fence or whatever color fencing that you like right in the middle to make it look like an open door when it opens. So as you can see, boom, now it looks like an open door. Now what I like to do is just take out some white hardened clay and wrap that around my entire door like this. There we go. And boop. And now all we have to do is just fill in the floor. I'm just going to go ahead and use some dark oak wood planks because that is my favorite coloring of oak well planks of wood. So boop, boop, and boop. And let's go ahead and fill in this side as well. Boop, boop. Now, you probably want to use two different colors on both sides of the doors. I'm just doing this so we can make the tutorial go a little faster. And there you guys have it. So, boop. The door opens up. Go ahead and walk through. And then on this side, here it is opened up and closed. So, boop. Opens up. And we can walk on through. For number two on our list is going to be the double iron door. I feel like everyone should know how to build this door. Now, for this door, you're going to need a six by three spacing. And you're also going to have to dig down two. Now, that red stained clay line right there is the exact spot in where your doors are going to be going. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are two iron doors, 14 redstone, four pressure plates, and that's it. So once you have your six by three spacing, dug down your two and gathered up your resources, come to the bottom left-hand line, and we're going to count over to that red stained clay line right over there. So one, two, three, and then we're going to come up one right here and place in two pieces of redstone right along these lines, two underneath it, and two above it. Now, pick out some blocks of choice. You will be able to see them and place it right above that red stained clay line, and then place in your iron doors like that. Next up, what we're going to do is place in our pressure plate. So like I said, place in two blocks of your choice back here and two blocks of your choice back here and just place in your stone pressure plates. So right now your door should be opening up. So if I come over here, it will open up this side and it will open up that side like that. But we don't want it to be doing that. We want it to be opening up like this, no matter what side of the pressure plate we hit. So what we're going to do is just bring the redstone down from any one of these sides. It really doesn't matter going up into the block below it. So I'm going to use a different color here just so we can see what's going on. So we're going to have a block going up into the block that has our door on top of it. And we're just going to wrap redstone all the way around. It's a boop, 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 and boop like that. Now, we don't want these two connecting here, so just disconnect it with a block 
and it's that easy guys so now when i hit this one over here the door will open up on both sides however this side is not doing the same thing so we just have to do the exact same thing on this side as well bring our redstone going up into this block right here so just take out your redstone go one two three four make sure these two are not connecting and there you guys have it that is it that is how easy it is to just make both of these doors work at the same exact time so now all we have to do is just clean it up so just wrap your blocks around right here and right here do not place any two blocks inside of these areas or else it will break the redstone do the same thing on this side just wrap your blocks down to here do not place a block right here or it will break the redstone next up just take out your blocks and place a frame right around your double iron door like this and like this there we go make sure you do not place any blocks down here and just place it up like this and place it up like this onto this side right there and there you guys have a very simple working double iron door next up on the list is going to be this simple piston door so for this build you're going to need an eight by three spacing and you're also gonna have to dig down too now that red stain clay block line is where your door is going to be going now the resources you're going to need for this build are six sticky pistons two redstone torches 12 redstone four pressure plates two slabs and six glass blocks or any blocks will do in front of your door so once you have your eight by three spacing and you've dug down your two and gathered up all your resources come to the bottom left hand corner i'm going to count over to that red stained clay line right there so one two three four and then five and then just place redstone right along all of these blocks right here just like that now we're going to go ahead and place in our pressure plates so take out a block of choice for your pressure plates i'm just going to go ahead and use stone slabs here and here and then place your pressure plates on top of all these blocks then right here make sure you fill up the middle as well so now when we hit this our redstone comes on underneath boop hit that our redstone comes on underneath next up come out from the middle with our redstone one here one here as you can see it's coming on come up a block come up another block right here place a redstone torch here with redstone going into it same thing on this side come up a block come up a block right here place redstone right here with a redstone torch and when i hit it boop as you can see the redstone torches go off next up we're going to place in our sticky pistons so right off this redstone torch place in three sticky pistons so one it should extend two three do the same thing on this side one it should extend out two three and now we're going to come behind our sticky pistons place a block in with a piece of redstone on top of it and do the same thing on this side place a block in with a piece of redstone on top of it next up take out your glass blocks and place in all your glass blocks right in front of it and that is it so when we hit the door boop it opens up and boop it closes next up take out your stone slabs and we're gonna place a slab here upside down and another slab right here upside down this is just so when the door opens up you can't see any of the redstone from underneath and now all we have to do is clean it up guys you are completely done what i also like to do is place in sea lanterns or glowstone right above it so when the door opens up it has some light on the inside so boop there we go and now just take out your blocks of choice and wrap it right around guys you are completely done with the door so when i hit these pressure plates boop, they open up and then walk on in and then of course clean it up on this side so you cannot see any of the redstone whatsoever so boop 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 and boop there we go so there's the entire door completely done so it opens up closes opens up and closes number four on the list is going to be the jeb door for this build you're going to need a six by two spacing and that red stained clay line is where your wall is going to be going so just giving you a heads up the red stained clay line is where your wall is going to be now the resources you're going to need for this build are 12 sticky pistons, two redstone repeaters, six redstone torches, and a lever. So once you have your eight by two spacing and gathered up all your resources, come to the bottom left-hand side. I'm gonna place in two sticky pistons here with two on top of them, and then two facing forwards. Next up, we're going to skip over two blocks and do the same thing we did here on this side as well. So two facing forwards like that, and then two facing to the side, and two facing to this side right here. Next up, place your blocks of choice in front of them like that, and now it's time to hook everything together so just bring blocks going right along the tops of everything like this and like this and then off the side back ones place in two redstone two redstone take out your repeaters and place a repeater going into the redstone on two ticks same thing on this side two ticks and then off the back ones where your sticky pistons are back here we're going to place in two more pieces of redstone here and that's pretty much the entire build now what i like to do is place in two more right here so we can have a lever off the front but guys that is it so when i click down the lever boop the door closes and boop it opens up so let's go ahead and close it so right here on the red stain clay line is where your wall is going to be so as you can see you can't see anything there it's just a full wall but when we click this down boop our door will open up and then of course on this side we could do the exact same thing hide up all of our redstone back here like this and then we can have a lever off this side as well so boop closes it and boop opens it up and last up on the list is going to be the portcullis gate now this is extendable you can make it much longer but i'm going to be doing mine for long so for this build we're going to need a seven by three spacing and we're also going to have to dig down five now that red stain clay line is the exact spot and where your gate's going to be going 
Now the resources you're going to need for this exact build are four sticky pistons, 12 pistons, one redstone repeater, two redstone torches, 35 redstone, two buttons, one lever, eight gravel or sand or doesn't really matter, 12 fence, I'm gonna be using oak fence, you can use whatever color you like. Once you have your seven by three spacing, dug down your five and gathered up all your resources, we're gonna come right down here to the left hand corner. I'm gonna go ahead and place in our pistons down here first. So just count up one, take out your sticky pistons and place in four sticky pistons right along this line. Then take out your regular pistons and place four right along this line as well. Next up, take out your gravel and I just made a mistake. We don't need eight gravel pieces, we need 12 gravel. So I'll make that a uh, correction in the resource list, but we're gonna need 12. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, like that. It should be flush to your floor. Next up, we're gonna take out our fence and we're gonna place all our fences right above here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then take out whatever block you're using for your entire uh, poor colors gate and just place in four more right above it like this. This is just so we can hide the pistons for later. Now we're gonna go ahead and place in our redstone down here for our bottom pistons. So over here, this is going to be the front of your gate. Right here is going to be the front of your gate. So right down here, we're gonna place in four blocks, one, two, three, four, and place redstone along all four of them like this. So here's a better view of it. Then we're gonna place another block right here and then place your one repeater that you have going into that redstone, set it to two ticks delay. Now, if you're on pocket edition, just set it to four ticks and you should be fine. But we're gonna go ahead and set it to two ticks down here. Next up to the right-hand side, we're gonna place down another line of blocks right here and place redstone right along all these blocks, just like that. And then right above it, we're gonna place in yet again, another line right above the redstone with another line of redstone right above it like this. So right now, everything should look like this. Now we just have to hook all of this together. So what I like to do is just pull out a slab here. We're going to need a slab for this part to so go ahead and take out one slab and place a slab here upside down like this. Then what we're gonna do is come out a block right here and then up a block and place redstone along all these blocks. So now you can see that this top row is hooked to this bottom row right here. And then last but not least, just bring your line of blocks going down right over to here to behind your repeater and place redstone right behind the repeater like this. And that's gonna be everything hooked up for your opening function. So if any power goes to any of this redstone right over here, it will open up your entire gate. So now to hook up our button up here, what I like to do is just come right over here to this corner redstone, come up a block, come up another block, placing redstone right above both of them. And then we're gonna come up one more block right here with redstone on top of it as well. Then right above this redstone, we're gonna have a block with a button off of it, and that's going to be our opening function for our gate. So if I click this button, everything should go up. So boop, everything goes up. And now I can go ahead and walk through my gate on this side, and if we had a button on this side, it will open it up on this side as well. Now it's time to create the closing function. We have the opening function completely done. Let's go ahead and create our closing function. So now it's time to do our closing function. So I'm gonna be using red because, I don't know, green is like open for me and red is for close for me. So we're gonna go place our buttons on both sides of the red block, place a redstone torch on top of it, a block on top of the redstone torch, a redstone torch on top of the block, a block on top of the redstone torch. And now what we're gonna, and now before we move on from this part, let's go ahead and place in our pistons first. So just come up three blocks from here. One, two, three like that, break the two. Take out the rest of your pistons and place them facing downwards like this. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, like that. And that's gonna be all of our top pistons right there. So now what we have to do is just bring power from this block over to all of these pistons. So let's get our bottom set out of the way first. So place a block right here next to our redstone torch. And then right next to this block, you will be able to see this block from underneath. So just take out whatever color you're using. I'm gonna be using my stone bricks and place it right here next to it. Then next, we're gonna place redstone right along both these blocks and then come up a block right here and then place redstone right along all of the blocks right here. So bloop, bloop, bloop like that across all those blocks. And now what I have to do is hook this top portion right here up to these pistons. So what I like to do is place redstone here, place a block right above this one. It will disconnect it, bring it up one, and then just wrap it around like we did down there and place redstone right along all of it like this. And that's going to be the top function right there. So when we click it, boom, it will close the gate. And then when we click this side, boom, it will open up the gate. And now to lock it, all you have to do is just place a lever off the side, flip down the lever, and now it will completely lock your gate. So boom, as you can see, I cannot open my gate anymore. But then when I flip it back up, I can now open up my portcullis gate. Now, if you would like to extend it out, just remember you can only bring it out 15 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means it can only go over this much more. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you can make the gate go that much further on the top. And then for the bottom, we have to count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it can go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
and 15 right here so as you can see the top one can go one more but we're gonna go ahead and break that so if you want to extend the gate out all you have to do is just keep doing the same thing with the pistons all the way down here just bring your redstone down like this place redstone right along all these blocks place redstone right along all these blocks and then go ahead and just place your pistons facing downward so one two three one two three and bloop, 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 bloop. and then we'll just have to place in all our blocks once again do 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 so you can extend it out that much guys that is a lot right there and then the same thing goes for down here as well if you would like to extend it out extend it out <laughs> all you have to do is just dig out this area and we just got to bring our blocks going all the way down to over here right here there we go that is a lot to dig out. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, I don't need to speed it up. That's not that bad. So all you have to do is just dig it out. This is the furthest it can go. So we're going to go ahead and just dig out this entire area for our portcullis gate. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is for people that want to extend it out. If you don't want to, then you are done. But I'm just going to go quickly show you how to extend it out. So you don't have to ask me in the comment section below. So we're going to place block going down here with redstone along all of it. Same thing on this side. Blocks down here. Redstone blocks down here and then we're gonna place redstone right along these ones as well and then right down here we're gonna have to place in more sticky pistons and pistons so sticky pistons pistons go ahead and take out your gravel place your gravel right along all our pistons there we go this is just for people that want to extend it out and then of course we're gonna have to place in the rest of our fences so let's go ahead and just place our fences up here so it matches the top area and right here as well and right here as well and there you have it and that's how you extend it out so when i click this button now boop it will close it and when i click this button boop it will completely open up and now it's time to clean up the air so just take out your stone bricks or whatever color you're using and just completely clean up this entire area so i like to just come out like this just so we could see our buttons now of course on the outside you don't want to have access to that lever the lever is only for the inside people when you're locking it from the inside so just make sure whichever side is your uh inside and outside this the inside should be the side you could see the lever on just keep that in mind the inside should be the side where we can see that lever the other side we should not be able to see it so let's go ahead and just hide up all of this redstone right here all this redstone right here and as you can see i could see the lever on this side however on this side of the build i cannot see that lever so let's go ahead and just hide up all our redstone bring it all the way down make sure you can see at least one part of the gate you want to see one part of our gate hanging down like that and then we can go ahead and fill up this area fill up all of this right here and then just fill it in so you can't see any of the redstone from the outside so yeah these things are pretty big these <laughs> these port these port colors gates get pretty tall and if you make a really good one that can uh, go all the way up three times they get even taller i've done these in the past before this is definitely one of the easier ones you could possibly build but these things can get massive guys these things can get super duper huge <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just fill in our flooring so we can't see any redstone and we don't fall down there and we're gonna hide up all the redstone on this side as well with some more blocks here some more blocks here like that and then just hide up all of our redstone over here as well so bloop, 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 bring it all the way up now the inside is going to look a little more derpy on the inside but what can you do that's just what happens with the redstone for these gates so i'm just going to go like this and we're going to come out a little bit more right here but normally people will have a walkway on top of our gate on top of your gate as well so usually when it sticks out like this you won't be really notice it if you have like some sort of let's say a walkway up here and you know just have blocks like this for your uh castle walkway like that and then of course let me go ahead and clean up this side as well guys i'm just like very ocd with certain things you are completely done with the build. you don't have to watch me do this i just i just like doing it myself i've done this thousands upon thousands of times and it will never stop so like let's say i want to go down here with some blocks like this boop 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 and there's like a little castle walkway from the outside see kind of looks like a little castle thing up top oh, this is going to annoy me <laughs> place some more blocks here and i'm going to place a little more blocks right here as well before i get super duper annoyed there we go and bring this down right here there we have it so boop there's our entire gate completely done now it's completely done <laughs> so if i want to close it click the red button if i want to lock it from the inside flip down the lever so now people cannot open it from out here see if i come out here and i click the button out here boop the gate will not open up however if i make sure to flip down this well flip up the lever i can now open up my gate boop it opens up walk on through click the button on this side and it will close behind me and yet again click the button out here and it will open it up but there you guys have it. that is five redstone doors you should know how to build inside of minecraft if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace